in my opinion, a business that's a problem in plastic surgery. Because I call these plastic surgery patient mills. Like, you've heard of puppy mill, mm -hmm. where it's just like, you know, like high volume. Yeah. This, to me, this is a plastic surgery patient mill. I think I may be the only person that's ever said that. I may have coined the term. <laughs> this video may go down as like, that's where the plastic surgery patient mill came from. <laughs> but what they do is, this is a business. So it's not like me. So I'm a doctor. I have my own office. And even if I had partners, it would be Dr. Herman and Dr. You know, so-and-so's plastic surgery. But this is a corporation that opens up a facility that does a lot of high marketing and does really cut rate plastic surgery. And what they do is they do contract plastic surgeons where, so say I, I don't have a busy practice, but I wanna just do something, I can go and join this facility and they pay me like 25 cents on the dollar which, you know, it, it, it's, it's not insignificant money, but not near as much as mm -hmm. you would make if you had your own practice. But they pay these doctors like low amounts. A lot of times they do these things under local anesthesia so that they don't have to pay an anesthesiologist. And that allows them to basically do very, very cheap prices, which attracts people. And then they do a lot of markings like, oh, you can get your Brazilian butt lift for $3,000, which would be, you know, very cheap compared to like if I was doing that, which I don't even do those. And so it attracts people. and. I have just a huge amount of problems with this. I mean, some of the problems, like when you go to their website, it doesn't even have any information about their doctors, like zero information. Like when you go to like a legit plastic surgeon's website, it talks about their credentials. Who are they? Where did they go to school? What is their training? What is their board certification? Sounds like some back alley stuff. It, I, I really have a huge problem with these places and, and they are a really big problem in Florida. There's a lot of them. Mm -hmm, for um, sure. And it just, that was the, the huge warning bell. Like when you go to their website and you can't even like look up the doctor, there's not even a name of a doctor. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Also, like they encourage medical tourism. Like when you go to their form, it's like, you know, is it possible for you to come in for a pre-op consult? But like, it doesn't like have any like kind of negative if you don't, like you literally could say, I want to get a Brazilian butt lift. Like you could go on their website, say, my name is Sarah, I live in Texas. I want to get a Brazilian butt lift. And they're like, okay, we'll schedule it out. And then you arrive and like literally you go to surgery and have it. And I have a big problem with that because I think a lot of the mistakes that happen in plastic surgery are due to poor preoperative planning. Yeah. And this is just zero preoperative planning. I mean, they probably have something where like you go and you talk to the doctor the day of, but like, I mean, at that point you're kind of committed. And so yeah. it doesn't give you that opportunity to make a plan in advance, which I don't like. Mm -hmm. And then also a lot of these places, like the doctor doesn't see the patient post-op. It's like, you know, a nurse or something that sees them post-op. So I, I just, I have a huge problem with these places.